Good morning, uh, my reasoners. Uh, it's another blessed day that the Lord has given us. We want to thank the Lord for the gift of life and good health as we come together to reflect on his word. Yesterday, we were looking at our relationship with God, and today we continue with the subject of what destroys our relationship with God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to reflect on your word. And as we reason to your voice this morning, guiding us, we pray that uh, your word will, will enlighten our path and be a guide to our footsteps. Be with us as we start off and uh, speak to our hearts and to our minds through your word. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our text is taken from the epistle of Apostle John, the first epistle of Apostle John chapter 4, or the first letter of John chapter 4, we read from verse 20. Let me start from verse 19. We love because he loved us first. If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he is a liar. For anyone who does not love his brother whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And he has given us this command, whoever loves God must also love his brother. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. As I said earlier, today we'll be looking at what destroys our relationships with God, or our relationship with God. I want to highlight are the possible causes or cause that hinder our relationship with God. It is interesting that God expects that we must have a good relationship with fellow human beings before we even reach out to him. In our reading of First John chapter 4, we read that if anyone says, I love God, yet he hates his brother, he is a liar. For anyone who does not love his brother, whom he can see or he has seen, cannot love God whom he has not seen. This means that before we seek to cultivate our vertical relationship, we must build a strong horizontal relationship. So some of the things that hinder or destroy our relationship with God include lack of love for one another. We must start demonstrating with those around us, our own spouses, my own wife, my own husband, our children, our parents, our neighbors. And the list continues that those who are near us, we should be able to demonstrate a good working relationship with them even before we seek to build a relationship uh, with God. Number two, other than uh, lack of fellowship, uh, um, love for one another, it is lack of fellowship with fellow believers and with God through and through. No one, although no one was called to be a wrong rager, sometimes believers find themselves working alone. And this kind of believer alone rager is never acceptable in the Christian fellowship. Believers are called to fellowship and into unity of the body of Christ. We are all different, but God's beauty is displayed in our unity of diversity. Just like the two uh, bicycle pendles, when one is down, the other one is up, and they keep on alternating in order to steer the body ahead. Through fellowship, we demonstrate the love of God, the unity of believers, which serves as a testimony to the rest of the world of how God expects of us. The other thing that destroys our relationship with God and with one another it is prayerlessness and weak or nil Bible study pattern. It is through prayer that we get to talk to God and also hear from him we develop 
a father-son relationship with God through prayers. Without constant communication with God, we lose direction and we are off from his purposes. So reading the word of God helps us to understand God and his divine purposes for us. A well-planned Bible study program or structured helps us to keep our Bible reading culture and discipline. Anyone who does not prayerfully start God's word risks the danger of leading a life devoid of God's intended purpose. Therefore, if we desire a relationship with God, reading his word regularly and daily communion with him through prayers must be part of our routine. The fourth thing that I have looked at as a cause for a strained relationship is sin. Sin remains uh, the biggest obstacle of experiencing God's presence in our lives. Even though God loves us this deep, and even if his love is higher than we would uh, go, wider and long than we can imagine, it can be hindered by sin. The guilt of sin separates us from God, thus hindering and destroying our relationship with God. The, the sin of grumbling, disobedience, idolatry, lust of the flesh, and the list continues. Anything that is contrary to the word of God is considered sin and quickly destroys our relationship with God, regardless of our anointing or our social standing. And therefore, my brothers and my sisters, as we go about our daily activities, as we go about our activities of, of the day to day, let us be reminded to take this as another opportunity to build our relationship with God by demonstrating his love to fellow human beings, pray without ceasing, read his word, keep uh, a fellowship of believers, and hate sin as we obey the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And may we have a God-guided day in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. Thank you.